behind every medical product is an enormous amount of development effort. The research work is not the only important aspect. The management of the entire project is also key. Among other things, this requires business knowledge, coordination between project partners, fundraising, public relations and handling legal questions. To cover these different duties and responsibilities, service providers like the Aachen Center of Competence for Medical Technology have specialized in project management. Frank Willems is the center's managing director. In 2003, the ACM focused on interconnecting medical technology companies here in the EU region around Aachen, on communicating and developing joint funded projects, or generally on launching collaborations. Generally, the objective of course is to connect companies with the sciences. This means universities often look for partners in the medical technology field. We know all of the medical technology companies and try to bring both of these partners together, while providers are also noticeably playing an ever-increasing role. That is to say, hospitals and health insurance companies contribute to some projects. The ACM is directly located at the RWTH Aachen, a very research-focused university. Willems and the center's project managers are able to relieve scientists so they have more time to devote to actual research. Dr. Tobias Franken of the ACM explains which functions project managers assume in medical technology research. When we talk about the function of project management within the scope of medical technology, we need to consider the types of projects we work on. On the one hand, we have research and development projects where we support partners, for instance, in meeting command variables such as time, quality or costs, and resource planning, etc. Medical devices have to be very safe in their use, so patients are not injured. This is why quality assurance is an important contribution to the research project. Within the scope of quality assurance, it's very important to apply the tools of quality management as early as possible in the case of research and development projects so the product's market entry can be prepared early on. Reporting systems and implementation of standard operation procedures are tools that are not required in R&D projects, but that are definitely planned by us to be able to ultimately obtain a CE certification. Maximilian Kutting of the Helmholtz Institute for Biomedical Engineering at the RWTH Aachen University is also involved with the quality assurance for medical devices. Here at the Helmholtz Institute in Aachen, we research prosthetic heart valves, which means we develop our own prostheses, but also perform functional testing on prostheses by other manufacturers and check their ability for use in human beings. Prosthetic heart valves have to be able to open up and close especially well without large decreases in pressure, so the heart does not have to work as hard to pump the blood through the prosthesis. However, the longevity of the prosthesis is especially important. Once you have implanted a prosthetic heart valve, you do not want to operate on the patient again immediately after surgery. The Institute's collection shows the development of prosthetic heart valves over time. They are available in different materials and designs. We differentiate between two main types of prosthetic heart valves. There are the mechanical and the biological valves. Mechanical heart valves are prostheses that are entirely made of artificial materials, while biological valves have leaflets or closures made of biological material. The different types of prosthetic heart valves all have one thing in common. They need to work flawlessly inside the body for a very long time, since it would otherwise endanger the life of the patient. At the institute, the prostheses are carefully checked, so weak spots in the design are discovered as soon as possible. Here at the institute, we test our prostheses by using a mock circulation device. This circulation simulator simulates the function of the human heart. We have ventricles, the aorta, atrium and the valve positions where the prosthesis can be inserted. This circulation simulator is able to simulate physiological pressures and flows to where we are able to analyze the functions of the artificial heart valves. In endurance tests, the prosthetic heart valves are very heavily tested, meaning when a valve opens and closes 70 times per minute in a human being, we can open and close it more than a thousand times per minute in our testing system. 
das Qualitätsmanagement ähm, spielt. Ähm. Quality Management plays an important role in the development of prostheses, since you need to make sure that all steps are completed with great care during every development stage. Documentation is also very important in this case. You want to ensure that you always produce artificial heart valves with consistent quality, so that they also provide the same function and treatment option for every patient who receives them. Kriegt eben die gleiche ähm, Funktion und gleiche Therapiemöglichkeit darstellt. Quality management is also extremely important in testing because the measurements we make here are the measuring results the manufacturers use to decide whether these prosthetic heart valves can be approved, meaning whether they can be implanted into a human being or not. That is to say, you have a very high responsibility and need to make sure that everything follows exact guidelines. At the beginning of medical technology development is always an idea that is meant to result in a new, improved medical product. Until a product is being implemented, however, tedious and extensive project work needs to be completed. Specialized service providers assume specific project tasks, so researchers are able to focus on the sub-questions of their job.